what will be the clinical presentation of patient with the DRUJ instability? There will be symptoms as well as signs. What will be the symptoms? Patient will complain of pain. Pain will be mainly on the ulnar side and pain will be when the patient is doing activities, when lifting up weights or during pronation or supination. The limited range of motion, especially supination, pronation will be limited. Clicking sounds while taking a lift or lifting a weight or supination, pronation. Instability, the feeling of instability while doing excessive work. Prominent ulnar head could be there. Weakness while lifting objects. Now, if a patient presents to you with these symptoms, what are the signs you can uh, look for? There are a set of tests or signs that you can elicit in any of these patients. First, we have something called impingement sign where what you do is that you with one hand first hold the wrist of the patient, you stabilize the wrist, then with the other hand you ulnar deviate the hand of the patient, then you do pronation supination. This will elicit pain in the ulnar side. This is what we call as impingement sign. Then we have ulnar foveal sign where when you palpate or press with your thumb in the ulnar fovea, there will be pain. What is this ulnar fovea or where is it located? It is between the flexor carpi ulnaris tendon and the ulnar styloid. So you press in that area which is the fovea and there will be pain. Then we have the famous piano key test. I think all of you know what this sign is. In grossly dislocated DRUJs, the distal part of the ulna will be prominent dorsally, isn't it? And if you use your finger to press it down, it will go in like a piano key. But when you lift your hand, it will come back up. This is what you call as piano key sign. Then we have tabletop test. Here what we are doing is we are basically loading the TFCC or the DRUJ and seeing if there is any pain. So you ask the patient to keep the hands on a table like this. And you ask the patient to exert his whole weight on that palm. This will elicit pain in the DRUJ or on the ulna styloid region. Press test is similar to table test. Here you ask the patient to sit down and keep both the hands near the body on the chair or on the sofa wherever he is or she is sitting. And ask the patient to exert force on the hand and lift his body up. This will cause pain. This test is sometimes also called as the chair test. Because the patient is sitting on the chair, you ask the patient to use the hands, give force on the chair and lift the body up. This will cause pain. And finally, we have something called as grind test. Uh, so this is something similar to the Apley's grinding test that we do for meniscal injuries in the knee. Similarly, what you do is that you stabilize the wrist, use the other hand and you give an axial pressure on the wrist and you give a grinding motion. This will cause pain.